Welcome to CYA Condos. We are here to educate American condo owners and buyers until the proper fiduciary and legislation is in place to protect you. Before we get started, don't forget to hit subscribe to be included in new legislative and educational condo information as soon as it is released. Today we're talking about Florida again because we're starting to see the impact of Senate Bill 4D on investment and buyer opportunities, something we predicted two years ago when the bill was first approved by Governor DeSantis. As expected, Florida's condo inventory is at an all-time high. Ultimately, Senate Bill 4D, which was approved by DeSantis in May of 2022, will make Florida the safest state to purchase and own a condo in. But for now, as trailblazers, Floridians are literally paying the price for America's lack of regulation in an industry that has needed it since the inception of condos in the early 60s. Condo owners, otherwise known as the HOAs, are required to do reserve studies and structural inspections and then fund the reserves to prepare for upcoming repairs or replacements of major components so that owners of tomorrow are not stuck with the big bill for not just their portion of usage of that component, but all other owners' usage as well. Unfortunately, today's owners are in that position, paying for yesterday's owner's portion because of the lack of funding. If past condo owners had known this process, obtained reserve studies to guide them, and managed the building and budgets this way, America's condo owners' buildings would not be in the financial and structural distress they are in today. Because of the legislation, Florida condo owners are experiencing large assessments or increases to their monthly HOA dues, and owners are selling, unable or uninterested in paying. However, once all of the buildings are compliant, Florida will be the one state where you will be able to shop for condos on an apples-to-apples comparison and know exactly what you are getting, the value and condition of your home. The same information single-family home buyers obtain through inspections and appraisals. American condo buyers cannot obtain this information through the same inspections and appraisals today. Condo inspections and appraisals only provide reports on the four walls being purchased, not the entire building. The reserve study and structural inspections are required to obtain this information. So what does this mean for Florida's condo market today? This means Florida is currently the best state to invest in condos. Inventory is at an all-time high due to the current bill, SB 4D, the regulatory requirements that have caused these dramatic spikes in HOA fees or scheduled one-time or multiple special assessments that condo owners are unable or unwilling to pay. When real estate inventory is high, it generally means you will see a decrease in prices. However, in Florida's case, you might see a decrease beyond the norm because of the increase in HOA dues and or assessments that owners know you're going to have to assume. Owners are willing to walk away from some or even most of their equity in some cases to avoid facing these payments. Many condo owners are on fixed incomes, and budgets and purchased their homes years ago at substantially lower prices and HOA dues. They planned on living in their homes for the rest of their lives, but can't afford these increases, so they are feeling forced to sell and even give up the equity they built over these years. As in any downturn event in America, we have started to see creative investor options present themselves as ways to help owners stay in their homes if they choose. However, for some, It is still more beneficial to sell to avoid foreclosure by the HOA, their neighbors, and fellow condo owners, because ultimately any unpaid assessment or HOA dues or fees can result in just that, foreclosure. As devastating and sad as this is, it could also create a win-win opportunity for the seller and buyer. A buyer could get a great deal and at the same time help the seller avoid that foreclosure. What does this mean for Florida's condo market in the future? Well, when all Florida condos have complied with the regulatory requirements at the end of 2024, and that's within three miles of a coastline, and the end of 2025, everything outside of the three miles of the coastline, so the interior mainland of Florida, we should see what might be considered a correction or right-sizing of the market. Owners will know the true value of their condo in comparison to other condos, apples to apples. Buyers will know exactly what they are getting when they purchase a condo in any building 20 years or older and three stories or higher, unlike any other state in America where they are still risking special assessments or other risks that come with aging buildings, bringing a demand in condos unlike anywhere else in America. 
What does this mean for the condo market outside of Florida? Any other state that has not implemented similar legislation or any condo building that has not followed the guidelines that come with doing a reserve study and structural inspections, funding reserves properly, as well as repairing or replacing the components that need care, there will be a risk of special assessments, increased HOA dues, and safety concerns that come with aging buildings and under or unfunded reserves. Floridian condo owners are feeling the pain of doing the right thing today, but like what you will find in many parts of Canada and even Malaysia, they'll be reaping the rewards when it's all said and done. Don't forget to hit subscribe to keep up to date on all condo-related news across America. You can follow us on YouTube and even read more on our blog.